Hey, Revan. Hello. You, you know what time it is? What time? Time to destroy things. And, and but what? first, what do we need to do? I don't know. Search for them. Search and destroy game number five. Coming up next. That was terrible. I um, like that. That was good. Yeah, that was real bad, actually. In the meantime, if you guys could all do me a favor, get back on Twitter. Oh, don't do it. If you could send it to <laughs> at MLG Coley, C O L E Y. Tell him you're really excited that all of his family is going to be in Columbus <laughs> with us this weekend. So uh, do me that solid at MLG C O L E Y. Can't wait to meet the family in CBUS. Love Puck it and Revan. It's time to go into the next game mode. And uh, what are we going to see here? What's our map for Search and Destroy? It's going to be Warhawk S and D. And I absolutely love how this plays out. The offense. Absolutely they, love it. I love it. I think Not it, even 50% love. Like 100% love. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think this is the best S and D map. Uh, in the rotation right now. You furrowed your brow when you said that. Like, this eyebrow went up and this one got in a little bit. Anyway, you mean it. Yeah. Yeah, that happened. I think this is the best. Uh, the offense, they could go to either bomb site and make it work. But when you go over to A, you got to make sure. Well, there, there are just two key positions that you have to clear out before you go for the bomb plant, right? So I think it's uh, the B bomb site that's over near the garage. You have to clear out that tower area where we're going to see a lot of sniper action and over at the A bomb site. Okay, which one are you calling the tower area? The, it's just a big like cell tower. Okay, gotcha. You'll see it. I'll show you it and point it out. And then that's where the loading bay is, the garage, mid alley where the gate is that you could shoot, bricks building where the post office. I know. Back pick up. I know what you're talking about I now. I was lost at first, okay. but now I see where we're at right now. And then over near the other bomb site where there's the wood fence, there's the shack. The staircase that you can't go up, the hardware store with the breachable door, the tank, then bottom bakery, top bakery. I could I could draw you like a, a diagram. I bet you could. Can you do it with your eyes closed on this paper plate? With my eyes closed? I don't think so. Oh, that's that's a pen for the surface. Actually, that'll never work. Back in back in high school. If you could draw the map Warhawk for me, I would appreciate that. Okay. And I'm holding it up for our fans afterwards. So but back in back in high school, when I was playing Call of Duty 4, I drew uh, the map district on my calculator. Really? I made it in my graph, and I saved it. Wow. You were really bored in class, yeah. weren't you? What was your teacher's name? Uh, that was in math class, so Mr. Martino. Ma Mr. Martino. Got to keep your students entertained, otherwise they'll draw things on fair, calculators. I had 100 average in the class, so uh, it didn't really matter. It wasn't, wasn't challenging enough. It wasn't that he was a bad teacher. He was a fantastic che yeah. teacher. Um, but anyways, I want to give a big shout-out to Zelby. For sending that tweet. Also, Smiting Fatty, you are the man. Love you. Can't wait to see you in Columbus. I hope you're coming at least. And then we got uh, Greg Hendry who says choo choo, but that is totally unrelated yeah. to our conversation. Anyway, we're getting into the action with Aches. And uh, look at these ski masks from these gangsters on this SD squad. Attacking or defending on this side? They are this attacking, side. and you could clearly say they see that they want to go to the A bomb site. So that means. The key area they have to clear out is going to be that truck over near A Domination, but it does look like Unite, they have strong arm stuns, so this push for complexity was significantly slowed down. You see, they haven't even made it into the shack. They don't have any tangible position over the A bomb site, and Embos just took out Aix. Interesting base D we got here from the guys on Unite. Complexity trying to make that slow push to A, and let's see what TP's up to. He's carrying that bomb 45 seconds. Left on the timer. And look at this third person. He spots a player. Can he get the pick? Spot Challenged two. and TP ah. doing business. One more. He ain't done firing. Don't die on me, TP. He knows where both players He's so are. He fast. Knows... Go straight to B, man. Yeah, he knows once top drugs are here. Now, he can't go right to B through the middle street because he will get picked off. Spots one top uh, over near the tank. But I assume the other player would have just dropped out. Yeah, so there's one up top on drugstore. So. They had him pinned down. He wasn't going anywhere. Unite Gaming, they are going to take round one here on Search and Destroy Warhawk. And this is almost a must-win map for them. Awesome. Big yeah. shout-out to RF Franco. Also, Alex Bossert on Twitter for playing along with the Troll Coley game. Uh, all right, so round one. Went to the boys on Unite. Complexity yeah. on defense. You think uh, the Unite boys are going straight to A? It seems like in Ghost, everyone has a preferred bomb site. In well, most maps, is it the same thing here in Warhawk? Um, I don't think so. Both bomb sites are, are pretty viable for the offense to go. And since, like, you see the bomb sites are pretty equidistant on this map for both teams, you both have to travel, uh, you know, the same amount of distance to, to get the ball. So that means the offense are always going to have numbers for whatever bomb site they push towards. It's going to be a four and two or a four and one. 
And then all you gotta do is clear out that one key position. But Complexity, they get this bomb down super early on in the round. And there you see Krim first blood on the Saints. It's going to be Complexity trying to retake the bomb. It was actually Unite get that bomb off. Guys, for sure. Right, and they went straight to B with it, which is a, a mix up from what we saw Complexity try in round one. Teeps on it. Does he have protection? It looks like Eggs is going to clear the way, and he says, Go for it, brother. Well, they're all dead. So. Yeah, shooting a little Crim 6 in the back here. Now, talk to me a little bit about grenades. Are they as strong as they were in Black Ops 2? Because it seems that people are surviving grenades more than ever in this game. Uh, I'd say they're a little bit, maybe a little bit weaker than Black Ops 2, but the thing is, you could throw them a lot further, especially if you put strong arm on. But uh, I prefer frags for for search and destroy as well just because you throw them a lot further than some texts where some texts use those in respawn game plays as you could zone out your opponent but anyways back into the game we're going do to you love strong right. arm do I, I love yeah it's so i mean you see the the gb all-stars on game battles that's like their number one perk to use so the saints have it here because it looks like he ran pretty far before chucking does no strong arm for no saints. strong arm if he had strong arm he'd probably be able to sit back at the a domination point and just Manning it. So are there any other perks like strong arm that you feel are probably underutilized by pub players out there? So if you're using strong arm, you definitely want to pair it with uh, danger close that increases the damage for your grenades. So being able to throw grenades further and they do damage. But I think that's something we're going to see used a lot more competitive as the metagame develops as we saw with Black Ops 2. I mean, at the start of Black Ops 2, everyone's like, I'm not going to use a trophy system. Then at the end of it, you know, towards the middle, everyone's What's like, well, trophy system? I uh, kind of need a trophy system. Yeah, I might pull out this LMG and shoot through yeah. a fence and piss off Optic. <laughs> anyway, right now you had some camping. Campers always die. Here's Killa. What's he gonna do? Well, he's got a sniper rifle, so he has to pick and choose his battles. Can't be too aggressive, and he's got a, a pistol on his side. Bomb is dropped, so now they're gonna have to, you know, just work with this position here. Switching back to the sniper, slowing his back. What's the current man count? Clay's the last Ooh. one alive. He's going up against Ricky one on one. And there's still a decent amount of time to work. I mean, only 10 seconds. Ricky, he's just going to back up. This is what he has his teammates doing. They can see the bomb site, as you can see. They see Clayster's legs. They know oh, he's going for the plant. No. This one's over. Third now, keep person. in mind, this is not allowed at Columbus. It's not? Can't do this. Nope. We announced today that when you're dead in search and straight, you throw your controller to the ground. Can't touch until the round's over. Wow. Yeah. We're enforcing that on the main stage. Yep. I love it. That's fantastic. On the table, not on the ground, Rev. You don't want to break your scuff. But yeah, you don't. Anyway, we'll put it down, and uh, we're gonna get some big main stage refs who choke slam you if you're cheating. <laughs> we got Ricky on your screen at the moment, and Ricky Remington. Yeah. Seems like this is his gun for Warhawk. Yeah. Plus one tactical as well. So you see, Unite they're putting a heavy emphasis on their tactical grenades because that Saints was also using this, and I like his early stun grenades over towards the warehouse. Now, if you had strong arm on. He could throw it over that building to the left and stun them before they get inside the garage. And then he would have to give up. What do you think he's rocking instead? The normal perks like well, strong uh, focus. Arm, it, it only costs one point, so he could, you know, if he's using a secondary, he could take that off. I and mean, there's a lot of things you could do. It's, it's only one point. It's only one point, man. Yeah. It's only one. Do you think it's worth having toughness in a game mode like Search and Destroy? It depends on sorry, the kind of uh, role focus. you're playing. It depends on what you're going to do. If you're going to be a submachine gun pushing very aggressively around the map, yeah, because chances are you're going to be a lot more gunfights. But if you're like a sniper rifle like Kill is, probably not. Chances are you're not going to get shot a lot. Kill going for the quick pick. He gives up his position, though, and you can see the heavy fire. His teammate pushing up that street, fearlessly charging up, and he is going to pick up a big kill. That was Embo's, however. It was kill a camping for a while. Crim6 is hunting Ooh. them down, and there's your last kill. You want to see it one more time? Heck yeah, I do. Yeah, this is uh, pretty entertaining to watch. Check out this turn and burn. I'm Clayster. What's up? I just ran by the ambulance. <laughs> I heard you. Don't try and sneak up on me, little embos. And okay. you see the already complexity adapting to what Unite are doing. In his perks, I saw Clayster using Tack Resist. So that's a two-point perk. And, you know, at the beginning stages of this map, they're like, wow, they're throwing a, a lot of stun grenades at us. Well, All right, a whole lot of stuns. Switch up my class. All the stun, those stun grenades, not as useful. Now, what is this? This isn't the AK-12. I think this is so, the Vepper. Vepper? Might be. The, see, as soon as they take off a scope, I'm so confused on what guns they're using. Anyway. The Vepper or the Bison. We're going to see what Aches can do with it. Regardless, it's a submachine gun, so. Smidge. A, a bit more 
progressive on the map, a lot more mobility, but he's just watching Blue Tarp. First Blood coming in from Crimp6, so if you're getting stages of the round complexity, they have man advantage, and you could see that they want to attack the A bomb site. Saints evens things up, kills TP, drops the bomb. Uh-oh, and they just dropped two, so Aegs looks like he's the LMS. Actually, one more player left there, and that is going to be Clayster leading the rotation to B. Aegs right behind him picked up a different gun as well, so he's going to pick up the Remington, switching over from that SMG. Clayster, the first one into action, Bison. but the Bison, all right. Let's see what he can do with this bad boy. Sneaking over to B, doesn't see anyone quite yet, and he looks like he wants to challenge on mid-street for a moment. So it pushes through post office. You see Clay, he's going to try to get position over near the loading bay, but what's the current situation? Okay, so three alive. Well, uh, it's only one alive for complexity, but still three up for Unite. Clayster in a, a bit of a tough spot. 20 seconds left. He's going to clutch this. No worries. And that's the tower. Uh, I got you. Okay. It looks like a water tower to me, by the way. In case you're ever in the Midwest, you might need to know those things. Okay. Yeah, that's water. Anyway, uh, going back into the action. Oh, Clay with two. I told you he's going to clutch it. No bomb plant. Hoping for a challenger. Uh. Too smart is Unite. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, he Could was have been looking. a hero. He was looking there, but turned away at the last possible moment. That Killa. one made his ponytail grow right back out. <laughs> Killa avoids the 1v3 for his team. You also see him using uh, the Blast Shield, Dead Silence, Focus. What's this Blast Shield? Just makes you more resistant to it? Yeah, it's uh, pretty much Flak Jacket. Flak Jacket, Blast Shield. You survive grenades when you get hit by them. Gotcha. I like it. And uh, for those asking on Twitter, no, I'm not intoxicated right now. I just had a delicious dinner. Okay. Had some pizza. Shared some with Revan. Yeah. And my pizza. desk. We have, we have pizza all over the desk here. But uh, we're going into the next round. 3-2. Let's what do you want to watch? Let's see if the boys on Cole can come back. And look at Krim. Krim pulling out a snipe. How could he switch from this pretty face? Uh, there's this uh, cool perk called Overkill. Allows you to have two primary guns. You saw it used a lot in Black Ops Steel. And guess what? It's back for Ghosts. And Bomb goes down very early on at B. So what Unite are doing is they're throwing early stuns to keep Krim 6 off of the tower here. And then Think they're using there, strong arm? Uh, maybe not. I mean, from what I've seen, they're not throwing them too far. They're pushing up a bit before they get the map. Oh. And now it's all up to Clay's the last one alive. But by forcing Krim off that tower area, they get that bomb down super early, and it's working out well for them here. Man, these guys on Complexity starting to struggle. That's two straight for Unite. And here's your run and a kill cam, Ricky Remington. Across the map, solid shots there on Clay. All right, so a lot of quick draw being used. I at first, I don't like quick draw in this game. Why are you hating on it? I'm not hating on it. I just feel like it's a bit less useful than it was in Black Ops 2, where it was almost a necessity. But here, it's a three-point perk. I think I could find, you know, two other perks to use to, you know, benefit me in the long run of the game. Three-point perk? Yeah. That's quick draw is not one of them. Yeah, that is a lot. What do you get? Six? I think you get eight. Plus, if you take out your pistol and your nades, you can get a, a couple more. Get a little bonus action. And also, um, I don't want to kind of spoil it. Spoil it. But if you're using the specialist loadout, which you should be, and you have three perks set up, so like you, you could choose three you get before you get your bonus. Yeah. Well, then I'm sorry, but you are lost. You should only be using two, and then that way you get your bonus a lot quicker. So if you're using three, it'll take you 12, 14 kills to get your bonus. But if you're only using two, you only need eight. Really? So it's six less kills to get your bonus. Because it, it also depends on how many, yeah, how many points, points they are. each one's worth. So can you only pick two one point? Mm -hmm. And I think it, it's still the minimum would be eight wow. around there. So as opposed to 14, you know, obviously it's a lot easier to get. You might see it a bit more often. So if you're out there, you're using three perks to get a specialist before you get your bonus, well, uh, fix it. Dude, I love it. This game is so early. So many strategies are being implemented and created right now. And we're going to see the final two members of Unite. Well, two some protection. Five, two, Complexi just getting stomped out here on Octane. Or not, Warhawk, excuse me. Nice wall bang there. Ricky Remington, second kill cam in a row. And his attachments on the Remington, Red Dot and Grit. You know, you see it switch up a bit. Always the Red Dot on the Remington. The players don't really like the iron sights. But uh, the Grit, I mean, just reducing the recoil a little bit. You might see players put on the muzzle break for increased damage at long range. Lots of options, but Ricky's just sitting there saying, well, the gun's going to kill in two bullets most of the time. So I'm just going to make sure that I don't really have to focus on controlling my recoil. Put on the grip and make it a bit easier on me. 
And he likes to play from range, so I think mm -hmm. that's a really good attachment for his play style. The foregrip definitely going to give him that added stability at range. At the moment, you got TP pushing straight up to defend B. Solid player on middle street. Aix also with TP over on that left side of the map. On mid street, looks like some early action went down, but Aix too late to find the attacker. And it's going to be a three on four early on. Wow, make it a two on four as Krim tries to answer back with his snipe and does. I love how Unite switched things up right there. They did a, a slow B push, whereas in their other offensive rounds, very quick to B. So you saw Teep and Aix to try to compensate for the rounds that they lost on defense. They were being super aggressive, trying to get to that bomb site before they were affected by the stuns. Unite Gaming played it perfectly, sat back, which is the perfect counter to what Complexity decided to do. As they're going to take Warhawk, search and destroy. You see Killer there in the round ending kill camp. Mind games, man. It's all mind games. 6 2. Unite Gaming, they're back in this one. 3 2 overall. But here are your stats first 10 and 6 from Clayster. On the other side, the winning team. Pretty even spread, everyone going yeah. positive. And uh, they just seem to have outsmarted complexity in most of the situations. Oh yeah, without a doubt, I love what Unite just showed us there on that map. Unfortunately for complexity, if they want to go back and kind of fix what they did, either they have to be local recording their game sort of external hard drive, which I highly recommend you do, especially uh, if you're living in a team house, just get everybody, because you're going to be streaming your games, right? And you're going to have a computer able to stream your games. Right. So you buy external hard drive. External hard drive, check. You make sure that you local record to that hard drive. With strong arm. Yeah, that too. Local Get recording. strong arm in real life. Go to the gym. Do some lifting. Yep. But just being able to look over your game, since there is no theater mode, which uh, could explain why the bullet registration in this game is so good. Theater does affect it a little bit. Oh, yeah? So just make your own theater system. All right, I like Revan's thoughts. By the way, guys, if you want to win Revan's drawing of Warhawk, I enjoy it. you simply have to <laughs> send a tweet to Revan and thank Coley for bringing his family to Columbus. We'll be back. Game number six. It's time for another Blitz after this.